Hi, welcome, <laughs> welcome to <laughs> Francis Fonz, our next head full of useless information about movies. Uh, we're not on this week, we're not on this Friday, we'll be on next Friday with uh, uh, Sidney Poitier, Jr. And uh, we're, I'm at Thanksgiving dinner right now, and I'm asking, I'm with family and friends, I'm going to ask um, everybody a question. When you think, when, when, when you're around the holidays, when you think of the holidays, what is the first movie that comes to your mind, and, 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 and briefly why? And, and I'm going to first ask my sister, Danielle, who's been on the show. Everybody's Hi. been on the show, almost. Uh, okay. Stella. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so I, well, honestly, I think about Family Stone. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like, and I think of Christmas Story and um, Love Actually. Okay, Family Stone, yeah. Why, 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 quickly? Well, Family Stone, because I think it's a very unexpected movie, and we've watched it at your house on Christmas Eve a yeah. couple of times, yeah. and it's it's a lot better than you ever think it's going to be. It's true. It's such a, it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty strong guy. He is. Yeah, anyway. So All right. I'm glad you picked that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who also been on the show, Michelle. Moroni, um, what uh, what about you? Well, the first one that comes to mind is, um, this is we, James and I talked about this recently. In of the Sixth Happiness. It's oh, oh yeah. Wow. That moved me, and it was always on in England. You know, in the lead up to Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was on. You know, it was one of those things they ran on the BBC every day around the holidays. <laughs> so you, you would find yourself watching it whether you wanted to or not. But it's such a sweet, and I've never watched it without crying. And Ingrid Bergman is kind of like this, yeah, it's sure, her yeah. in her peak and she's kind of stunning and beautiful and mm. it's all about these little Chinese children and their feet are bound and I remember just thinking, oh my god, it'll be so Whoa, whoa, their feet, their feet are feet bound. bound. Well, the women. She, she runs an orphanage. Yeah, the, girls, the, girls. the girls' feet yeah. Why are, are their bound. feet bound? Concubines. They're, yeah. And oh, okay. It's, 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 I didn't know that. She's going to free it's them and, she, and she's going to free them. It's and women. Yeah. And she's a yeah. nun, and she's so she's sort of torn between duty and sort of doing what's what's right politically and... But and, and she cries through the whole, she has a tear sitting on the edge of her chair for three hours. And it never falls. But she's she's misty eyed and it, it just it's so sort of warm and What's the title again? The Inn of the Sixth Happiness. The Inn of the Okay, all right. It's really Why? Maybe, we watch, maybe we should watch maybe we should watch it this year. Why? Okay, go to Karen. Karen All right. Karen Maroney. Hello, hello, hello. It's the it's the it's the classic, it's the one that will probably come to everybody's mind, but there's an asterisk. Bullworth. The, uh, n no. no. <laughs> uh, it's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> okay. Oh, but, but wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. So good. The one that comes to my mind first is the It's a Wonderful Life starring Marlo Thomas. No! Are you, are you, this is no, a, this no, a, this I've a seen true it. story. This was a, it was a TV movie. It was made for television in like, probably 1980, 79 or 80. Oh, post that, that oh, yeah, no. Like around... Yes, like, when, she, okay, when yeah. she was moving into more serious roles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and Marlo Thomas, it was actually... I saw the Marlo Thomas version of It's a Wonderful Life made for TV before I ever oh, saw no. It's a Wonderful Life. The That's actual amazing. Life. Oh and it's God. actually, it is literally, it's the, it's the version that comes to mind at oh, the holidays. Funny. It's funny. It's Marlo oh. the female uh, George Bailey. Oh. oh, I do remember. And it was the time and the place that you saw it? How old were you? Was, did you see it on TV? Yeah, TV, yeah, I was probably, uh, I don't know, Ten, do you remember ten, were you ten, alone? Ten, was it one of those TV experiences? No, <laughs> no, but no, you know what I mean. Though, I wasn't yeah, on, and it, I it can, I can tell special. you that it, I'm, I'm sure that it was on a black and white TV. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, before, uh, you know, the color the TV was downstairs. Yeah. The upstairs TV, and um, yeah. and it, I think it was kind of great. I mean, I think it, 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 the story holds up no matter what you do to it. Mm. And it was in the yeah. era, it was in the ERA era and the title Title Nine, the girls yeah. playing soccer and baseball and the Equal Rights Amendment stuff. So it was oh, like okay. women's power. It was like feminism. It was actually a, sort of a feminist remake of the of the, the of the great classic. So uh, like King Kong remake, it was kind of a feminist remake with Jessica Lange. The, the, oh, the, that one. Uh, yeah, not, not the new one. With no, the, with no, the, big, the Jessica the Lange, CGI John Gollerman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. All right. Yeah. Which I don't think of at the holidays. King well, Kong. well, it's not, it's you not might want to rethink that. It's not for me a holiday. Okay, movie. and then look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name? Stella. And uh, what school do you... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is, in case this is Stella, this is uh, 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 Kieran and Michelle's daughter. That's great. Hi. 
a Christmas story. Yay! Oh. You know, they made a part two. I don't know what that's about. Christmas story. New Year's. But I think it's written by the same guy or did he pass away? I have no idea. Ago. Gene Shepard? Yeah. I don't know. I think maybe he nobody, needs, he nobody needs knows. him when he got think... caught in the mortgage trap. Nobody cares about the writer. It doesn't matter. If okay, yeah, you're more. right. I forgot yeah. about that. Why, yeah. why, why? I'm sorry. Um, Christmas. Because it's the first Christmas movie I like remember watching. Just, yeah, pretty much. Just... Do you remember where you were when you first saw it? I think I was with my cousin and my uncle. And mm. like in a living room, was it during the day, at night? It sounds like weird questions, but uh, in a living room at night, just like in, on a couch. No. And do, so every time you see it, does it give you that like kind of goosebumps yeah. in a weird way? It gives I'm you like that... you know when like I still believed in Santa and like when you know because when you're a kid, Christmas is the most special. So like thinking back to the times when it was really like. The best thing ever. Yeah. So, oh, that's and that nice. was Thanksgiving is the best, right? Yeah, because food. Because <laughs> <laughs> food. Thank you, Stella. That was actually nice. That was lovely. Thank you. <laughs> James Burnley, who's also been on the show. And, uh, and it was a great episode. You should uh, go back and, and, and listen to the episode. He, he was a really great guest. Well, you're going to have to help me here because yeah, I don't okay. know if the James Bond films Ooh. were after the Queen's speech on Boxit on Christmas Day, or if they came out in, on like Boxing Day. They feel like they were Boxing Day to me. They feel like they were Boxing Day. But if that feels like Christmas, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Like well, Christmas. I've only Definitely. missed Christmas by 24 season. hours. So. Yeah. I don't think it has to be that was you always see a Boxing Day thing. Let them in So, yeah. and any James Bond <laughs> film is yeah. a Christmas film for me. Oh, well, yeah. From, from the first one to the last one that they made. Skyfall. That's interesting. I, yeah, I know. Talk about the priest hole. Priest hole. God, that was so weird. Oh, the what? Skyfall priest hole. It's a different. Did, different, different. I, I didn't. In the new Bond film, there's all there's all priest hole things. It's not what you're thinking. Okay. All right, but it was. Is that along the lines of uh, uh, Doctor? You know, all the double entendres. That no, they no, no, believe no. it. <laughs> like no. that's no, the new actually, modern. No, no. Like you know. The, it's Hi, I'm Holly Priesthold. Yeah. Priest <laughs> yes, bring down my Priesthold. Yes. <laughs> no, but of course you are. <laughs> no, no, because the Priesthold comes from uh, um, sc uh, uh, sky Skyfall, which is how the doddering old woman and the other Judy guy. Dench. <laughs> okay. Judy Dench. Judy Dench. 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 The doddering old woman. The other doddering old guy, which is um, uh, King Albert Kate. Finney. Albert Finney. Oh, he's back. He's working. Oh, but yeah. Albert Finney is in it. But basically, I'm going to just say it very quickly. Yeah. In Skyfall, they end up going back to the uh, birthplace of James Bond. In, in oh, okay. A time travel in, and in a time travel sequence? No. no, it's Unfortunately, like the house where he was born. In the but house where so he was born. it's so CGI, isn't it? The and then, it's so and there's, in England, the there, England, there, there yeah. were <laughs> priest holes, which were underground tunnels that would take people from... The Reformation. Uh, yeah, during the Reformation. Oh, okay. High priests, and priest they would holes. Get them out. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's my... Okay. <laughs> Could be the Restoration. Oh, just yeah, be clear. You know, we don't know if it's the Reformation. All right, I want to get back to that, but I don't know if we're running out of time, so I want to go to the, the wonderful the Irene Lord. Fernley, who was also yeah, on with her sister Martha, yeah. and it was a fantastic show as well. All the shows were... Apparently ours was yeah. very yeah. No. Hey. Yeah, yeah, except... No, no, no. Just stop! Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, um... The movie that I think of is Always Love Actually, because we watch uh, yeah. it literally every year, and even last year when we didn't so watch it at your house, but me and Martha, you gave it to us, and me and Martha, we both ran into the kitchen and got Love Actually, like, we ran back, and we're like, they gotta, like, not find out we're watching this movie, uh, like, day, who's your favorite storyline in Love Actually? Um, do you have, I have some favorites. Oh, I, I Oh, yeah. I like the Kieran oh, Knightley one. It's just so yeah. No, yeah. I like the Which one? Star. I love Bill Nye and his uh, yeah. I like the I like the Prime Minister. I do love you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is wrong with I, me? My favorite one is like the Emma Thompson. Ellen it's so good. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, no, oh, that is a, my favorite, and oh. and I'll talk about this later. Hi, how you doing? My f <laughs> is uh, the the one uh, with uh, the the uh, what in the the Portuguese oh, yeah. woman oh, yeah. oh, and Colin Firth. Oh, yeah. Where they go? Where they go off and spend some money in Spain? And then, 
No, when he loses. And then he comes into her restaurant. Yeah, yeah. His girlfriend cheats on him, he runs away. And she's a man. And then the guy who's in love with Kira Knightley, who's now on That's a nice one, too. Yeah, I can't. With the nose. But, okay, you know what? What is wrong with his lips? He needs chapstick. I know. And he's adorable, and then she says, I'm going to go with somebody else. We should actually help him. All right. He needs hydration. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Um, what about, what about you? What about, what about yours? Film, yeah, I'm not the Swedish film, the the you know, I've actually never seen a movie before. A movie? No, never. I just is all bull, bull, baloney. This whole <laughs> show. Come on, give us, give no, us your movie. Uh, a favorite. Uh, um, uh, uh, Chris, the one that, Die Hard. Uh, for some reason, yeah. I know it's stupid, but I like that whole. I mean, oh, obviously, yeah. Love Actually and, and Miracle on 44th Street, yeah, you know, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But for some reason, to go in another direction, Die Hard and Joel Silver movies, he did, a, he used a lot of that in Lethal Weapon and, and movies like yeah. this, where he put, he puts it during Christmas, mm -hmm. and it gets you in that kind of frame yeah. of mind and that emotional place, so it becomes more epic and bigger. And so that yeah. he can release it during the holidays, where there's more money to be made. No well, ball. that, that <laughs> might be the case, but it works. <laughs> it does something to me. Yes, and when I he, when I see the first Die Hard. I get that little Christmas Ooh. feeling and stuff, it. and it's it's like an epic, incredible, one of the all-time great action no adventure question. masterpieces no that were ever made. John no Tierney, is a fantastic movie. director. So I think I'm going to say that. I love it. I'm gonna yeah, and Tron. No. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.